Well, I learned to paint uh, really just by uh, making, making paintings, especially these paintings. Not really any, any skill uh, at painting. So in order to realize my ideas, I, I had to learn how to paint. And I did that really just through attempting to bring these images into being. The uh, ideas and images come from uh, what I guess you would call imagination. Uh, that is, uh, in, in terms of the way I, I've experienced it, I just see images uh, on the surface of a canvas or a panel and uh, in the course of painting, flesh them out. Uh, in the same way that, you know, music is so pleasant to listen to and, uh, you know, can have such joy from, from a beautiful piece of music, a beautiful color has the same kind of uh, same kind of effect and the same kind of value to me. My particular interest in the Purple Dawn theory is that it uh, connects mythology and science. Uh, and uh, my entry was through the mythological uh, um, sort of uh, road because uh, mythology seems to really, uh, it's, it seems to have been a way that I can kind of uh, if not entirely understand, at least uh, interact with the uh, images that are that are created when I'm painting, or the images that I observe and then uh, 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 develop in the course of, of making a painting. Um, the I'd say more specifically that the Purple Dawn uh, idea seems to. Uh, describe a time that is uh, very familiar, but very different from the one we live in. Uh, and I think it's really, my paintings, uh, I want to, uh, they depict things that are taking place in a time that I think people can feel and relate to, but at the same time, it's very different from uh, the world we live in. Uh, and maybe that's why uh, I, been really attracted to that to the purple dawn idea and uh, why it's uh, recently sort of influenced my thinking and, and work the basic idea of the theory is that uh, uh, at some point in the past uh, there's disagreement about how long uh, I think some say as recently as 12,000 years some say 10 million years but in any case at some point in the uh, in the past uh, the Earth was actually a satellite of Saturn, uh, not the Sun. And uh, Saturn was at that time, of course, a star. Uh, uh, and it was a, uh, a brown dwarf star, which cast a, uh, a beautiful purple uh, light. And uh, the Earth was, uh, was uh, inside this sort of uh, pleuromic field of purple light. The curious thing about the purple light is it, uh, it's, it's ideal for uh, 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 biological life, from what I understand. So the earth was filled with life, even, even more than it is now. Um, everywhere, jungles and all kinds of different creatures and uh, um, ideal conditions for, for, uh, for life everywhere.